What's going on guys, we're back in the garage. In today's video, we're gonna be installing these RCI harnesses into my 1958 Volkswagen Bug. Alright guys, so let's do a little bit of an overview of what I'm planning on doing. So, got the seats right here. Um, if you got, you guys can't really see, but down on this bracket right here where the seat slides on, um, there's a hole. There's actually a hole right where my finger's at that you can throw some bolts through, and then we're going to do that for the lap belt. There's one on, there's a hole in the exact same spot on each side of this. Um, run that over. And then in the back here, we're going to actually lift up the carpet. And when we get onto the pan, we're going to build a, build a, some flat bar to go up. And then that flat bar is going to have a hole in, the, uh, hole in the top, run the shoulder belts, and then we'll have the lap and shoulder belts all done. Um, try to run it as clean as possible, look as good as possible. And yeah, so let's get started right into this. Alright guys, now I can give you kind of a better view. Got the hole right there. As you can see, that's where we're going to be running the lap belt. There's one right there. And there's one on the other side. Right there. And you can just run some bolts through those. Um, that'll help with the lap belt. Hold everything in place and then once you get those ran, then the flat bar will be actually welded to the frame or you can run a bolt through it either way whatever you want best just if you run a bolt through it make sure you run a big fat washer um so then if you anything does happen doesn't want to pull through the frame i think i might run the bolt i'm not sure we'll just have to see when we get to that point but yeah let's start installing this Hi right, guys, so as you can see there, went through multiple ways, but I think that I figured out the way that I want it and the way that I was thinking that it would come together. So if you take a look here, I'll get the light on it real quick. So we got obviously the bolt going through, and then we got three nuts, and then a washer, the seat belt itself, another washer, and then uh, a nut to finalize it. And it's gonna go on the inside of the seat belt. Um, it would make it easier for scooting back and forth. It makes it easier for tightening the bolts and just, I think it's all around easier. But as you can see, once I set this up, so actually if this, these nuts weren't here, this arm would have to come back and this would be pushed all the way up against. So there's no way it would come back. So you have to have that little, um, you have to have a spacer. It doesn't really matter what you use, but in my case, three nuts worked good. And then you run it under the seat. I actually ran it through the wrong little hole. Run it up through here. And then when you scoot the seat back, that will be the lap belt. Obviously, I'm gonna have to loosen it a little bit, but there we go. So that's the lap belt. Seat goes under there, comes right up, and there's your lap.
All right, guys, so just finished up. Um, put it in the seatbelt. As you can see here, we did, we did um, the exact same thing. Did a bolt washer through the frame and then three bolts, washer, seatbelt, washer, and then uh, not on the very end. So run it on both sides, run it up and through, as you can see. Got the lap belt now. Could leave it here, but I think that I'm gonna go with something through the pan right here and run some flat bar up and see if we can make some shoulder belts come over and complete four point harness on both sides today. guys for the shoulder belt already started rigging something up I'll show you here real quick so just a piece of flat bar like I said cut angle um, I just had some painted flat bar um, laying around but angle and then I uh, filed those downs with the file real quick drilled some holes in here drilled one here for a self tapper so then it doesn't pivot when it's in there so I got my actual big old bolt going through here and then my self tapper through there and then this bolt actually goes to the eyelet for the shoulder um, shoulder belts. So I'm gonna weld up this seam right here to make it super strong. So let's do that really quick and then we can work on, and we can go to the other side and start working on the other seatbelt after this one's finished. Right, guys so weld got there got the inner weld too up there and then got the bar I'm gonna give it a slight bend right here I already started bending it um, I'll show you what that bends for in a second but um yeah let's bend it all right guys let's turn that off so as I was showing you put the bend in it this is going to bolt into the ground. So the reason I put the bend into it was I was going to put it on the floor, right? So I put it on the floor. Once I pull the seat back, I don't want it um, close to the seat. All the way back, you can see it's just chilling right back there. Um, doesn't get in the way of anything. And then down here, it will be under the carpet. We'll make a little slit in the carpet and make it go through and everything. But... Um, Gonna drill a hole in through the pan, um, one big enough for the bolt, which is right here. Got our washers already drilled out for bottom and top of the pan, etc. So. All right, guys, we're on the passenger side right now. I'm gonna just go in depth of how to put on the seatbelt and the way to run the belt. Actually, just in case of you uh, run any kind of harness in yours, they're almost all the exact same. So I'm gonna show you right here. So 
as you can see got the belt so i already got my actual seatbelt bracket mounted i got the uh one lap belt on the other side already done but i just wanted to show you exactly what you're going to do so take your one bracket make sure your seatbelt's the right way so when you fold it over the chair it's not uh twisted so you're going to go through through give yourself about six inches seven inches right here and then go through the seatbelt bracket itself okay once you're done with that put it back through put it back through the put it back through the bracket pull through and back through boom pull it tight not going anywhere so I did the same thing on the other side with the bolt set up how I did the bolt washer three nuts washer seatbelt washer and then a nut to um, finalize it did it there as well so got the seatbelt the lap belt all done so now I just got to put back up one of those back brackets right there hold the shoulder belt so now let's get into that guys so when you actually got the piece cut here so this is 26 inches um what you want to do is mark two inches up from the bottom <clears throat> make a slight cut but don't cut all the way through just enough to where you can bend this to make this a 90 and then you'll weld it of course um right right where you made the cut um weld it so let's get into that now Right, so this is what I'm talking about. I cut a little too far right here, but um, that's still together. Still run a bead there. And then obviously we'll run a bead on the inside as well. But that's kind of the gist. You got two inches there. And then you got the rest of your 24. And then we'll make our slight bend where we need it. And then put our hole in the top to mount our actual harness itself. And then a hole down here. Um, for the bolt to go through the frame. So now we're gonna turn on our welder. Get this puppy fired up. And we'll start welding. All right guys, so there it is. Got the welds inside now. Got the rest of it going. One hole up here that goes to shoulder brow, uh, shoulder, um, shoulder strap bracket mounts right there. Make a hole right there with the drill bit, and then we got to make another one down here for it to go through the pan itself. Alright guys, so there's the hole. This one is for the big actual grade A bolt. This one is just for one of these little self tappers. I like to put that through there so then uh, it doesn't want to swivel at all in the um, when it's actually in the pan. Got this top one drilled. That's for strap belt. So now we just got to go install it into the bug. Thank you. 
All right, guys, here is the finished product. We got lap belt, and the lap belt. There's the finished product, both sides, both of them fully working. Um, got this down here. There we go. There it is guys, seat belts are done and installed. So, that's it for this video guys. Um, more coming soon, but for today, that's all. Seat belts are complete, mission accomplished. Got all of the hardware in, everything's done. Everything's good to go, rock and roll, come into spring, we'll start cruising this thing and I'll show you guys some more stuff, but for now we'll just do little mods like this and yeah. So, catch you guys on the next one.